Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Hey guys, so today I'm doing uh, just a demo of the new Google Play Store. This is Google Play 4.0. So I just uh, sideloaded this app. I will have the link down in the description below. Uh, if you download it, then you just hit install and you will have it too early. Uh, because uh, you might not get it like directly to your phone for the next month. So this is an easy way to get it sooner. So um, as you can see, it's a very uh, different looking UI. It's uh, very reminiscent of how like the uh, Google Now looks like. Uh, so like cards, white cards, very clean, very uh, pronounced text, very easily to read. Uh, so really nice overall. Um, so as we can see here, we have these six categories right here at the top. We have apps, games, movies, uh, music, books, magazines. Um, we have one banner right here, which is just like, you know, whatever current promotions going on. So right now they have free music. Uh, they have also gangster movies for, uh, uh, discounted prices. Um, and then you just go into different categories that are down below. So, you know, uh, read for free previews. Uh, recommended for you, which I don't know why they're saying I like Ja Rule, but um, you know, um, albums that are on sale for $3.99, you know, they have all these different ones, 2.0, so they have lots of always like, you know, different things going on, exclusive videos, all these kind of uh, different things. Hey, HT Widgets. Uh, so yeah, you have all these uh, different things that are going on, like Roger Ebert just passed away, so they have that going on. So um, you always have those new things, including like new release movies that were down there. But then you have your sections. So let's go into apps, uh, since that's the one most you guys will use. Uh, so you have the home section right here at the top, labeled. Um, and this honestly reminds me kind of like of uh, old school, like Android market, not, not Play Store. Before the Play Store, how like the green and white look. It's kind of like it's going back to its roots kind of thing, you know? Just like, it's keeping it real. It's keeping it real. Uh, so yeah, you have, um, but these these cards are really kind of uh, interesting. I like the way they're laid out, very big icons. Um, again, the recommended free section, apps to watch. Um, and then you can always see more. So you can see, you know, more things that are highlighted. I'm sure like they have like the phone highlights and like tablet highlights and everything like that. Um, so really uh, nice. But if you look here at the top, we still have our traditional um, different menus we can go to. So if you swipe over this way, you go to the categories section right here. And if you swipe over this way, you have the top paid for apps. And you can see the apps are really a lot uh, more pronounced, which can be good. I mean, I like how you have, you know, very easily see the name of the app very easily see who made it, very easily to see um, the star rating on it. And of course, if it's purchased or not, you can even click right here and just install it right from the screen without actually even going into it. However, let's say if we wanted to go into it. So Swift key, keyboard, of course, we always need to have on our device. So um, you can see if it, um, you can open it or install, you still have your little um, reel right here for your video and all of uh, your different photos. You can go on there, how many downloads it's had, how big is the file, um, you know, if people have liked it on there as well, any kind of awards it's won, like Editor's Choice. Um, you can rate it yourself, of course. What's new, the description, and reviews from people. Um, you can also look at all reviews, and then you can also look at the other apps made by them. And then um, these two different sections, they always had uh, users that have also installed. I don't know if they had users have also viewed. I think that's new. Um, and then of course all the developer stuff so you can see them or flag it as inappropriate if it's inappropriate, guys. Um, you can always share this as well. So if you wanted to share this app with someone, like hey, you guys should download this on your face, uh, you know, and put it on Facebook or anything like that, you can do that still. Um, you have top paid for, you have top free. The only thing I don't like about this is that you really have to go, like before I was able to see a lot more apps, like I could see like, you know, 10 apps on this same kind of space. Now, I mean, I think it's greater, uh, a lot better for developers. Their app gets more pronounced and more shown, but I personally like if you keep scrolling to the side, sorry, it's kind of hard to touch it this way. I like this. Uh, this is trending, and for some reason, trending looks different from everything else. 
But I like this. I mean, maybe it doesn't make sense as much, you know, because you don't have, like, the number-based system. Uh, but I like trending. I like to be able to see more apps at the same time because I'm always looking for new apps to show you guys and, you know, some that are good uh, or some that are bad or anything like that. Well, I wouldn't show you bad ones, but, you know, you get the idea. So that's the thing um, that I like from it and everything like that. Um, so that's uh, going to be one thing. Another thing is when you push menu, um, you have a, lot, a couple of different things here. Uh, settings, I believe, has changed slightly. Um, so now on your auto update apps, you, um, you just have a menu section on how you do it. So before you just had a check mark if you only want to do it if you want to auto update and then you get another check mark only auto update over Wi-Fi so now it's just a section here for you uh, just a little bit more easily um, that is what you would turn off if you don't want like just random apps on your home screen which I always recommend and this is the version 4.0.25 and for the my app section similar to what it was before you do have the install and the all and if you swipe over to the all, I believe it's going to show you my regular email address. So I've got the kind, that kind of thing. But yeah, so you can see all the uh, new apps you've installed and everything like that. And uh, the current ones that you want to um, update. So yeah, that is how it's done now, guys. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of apps even on a newer phone. Um, so yeah, um, what do you guys think? Do you guys like it better? Did you like it better before? I think I actually like it's very clean. That was my only kind of I see why that it's better for most people, but I just I wish I could see more apps or I wish that you know for like advanced users they could uh make it like the trending one. Um you know, cuz if we know how to use this already, this is great for an intro for a person, but if we know how to use this already, I think I like this better. That would be my suggestion. Uh let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, please, uh, you know, like and subscribe and check out all of our videos if you like them. Um, give them a thumbs up. And yeah, guys, uh, make sure to check out the website uh, that we just launched too. It's R-A-C-K-Y, The Android Guy. Thank you for watching. Bye.